Inspector General of Police General Kale Kaihura, who addressed journalists at the police headquarters in Kampala earlier in the day, confirmed that one UPDF soldier was killed and seven other people injured in an attack on Gulu Central Police Station on Sunday night. Corporal Edema Moses of UPDF was killed and four other UPDF personnel were injured. And I, I, I forgot, uh, two, two police officers were also injured. A civilian who was, who was just, uh, I think, uh, driving near the station, apparently from a funeral, was also injured. The injured were immediate, immediately evacuated to the 4th Division Military Hospital uh, and the others to the Chio Hospital in Gulu. He says the assailants, whose number is estimated at between 10 to 12, drove into the precincts of the police station on a pickup truck before firing bullets. According to the police chief, the assailants were on a plot to free senior opposition party UPC politician Dan Oola Odia, who was arrested last week. He is accused of masterminding the raid about three weeks ago on a pit army detached, where two soldiers were killed and a number of guns stolen. The objective of the attack was to free and cause escape one suspect called Oula Dan Odia, I think that's the name, who is due to appear in court today on charges of murder and terrorism. According to police, a number of weapons, including six AK-47 assault rifles, one PK machine gun, 12 magazines and over 250 rounds of ammunition and modern bows and arrows were retrieved. General Kaihura dismissed claims that this was the action of a rebel group describing the attackers as a criminal gang. Next face. One of these ones have access to guns. What is clear is that criminality has been has become more and more violent. And and in that violence, because of the the, the, the region we, we live in, there is there is perverse, you know, the, the, the weapons, availability of weapons. He warned against speculation and the spread of false information saying business was going on normally in Gulu town following the incident on Sunday night. And condemned those who quickly rushed to post messages on social media <laughs> after the attack, exaggerating the situation, uh, the magnitude of the incident, and even giving their own version. The police and army are conducting joint investigations to track the assailants and their accomplices. Suhail Mugavi, NTV.